All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of the Habitat Pack being made by forum user Porkjet. And uh, this is another one of those mods that I've been meaning to take a look at for ages now, but it just always seems like another mod pops up that interests me ever so slightly more, and it gets put to the wayside. And well, uh, thankfully, though, a lot of you guys have been messaging me and putting in the comments to take a look at this one recently so I figured what the heck let's finally get around to it and I am glad I did as this is a lovely little parts pack that adds into the game a selection of new inflatable habitat modules to allow you to build more interesting ships space stations and planetary bases it's very fun very cool so let's just jump right on into the VAB and have a gander at all the parts that this does add into the game now, of course, as usual, let's grab ourselves a Mark I command pod for size comparison's sake. And uh, then one of these TMA-1 orbital orbs. And this is the only command capsule in this mod pack here, and it's quite an interesting one. It's based off of the design of the Soyuz, so it's very cool with this more orb-like shape. A nice change of pace from our typical conical shape of all the other command pods we have in here. Uh, but yes, quite a lovely one. Now, of course, a minimum crew operation of one Kerbal, uh, but a maximum of two crew capacity has built-in SAS, electrical charge, and mono repellent, and of course the crew reports science experiment. Not exactly the most fancy of uh, capsules in the world, but you know what? Its whole point is just to get someone out there with no extra bells and whistles, but still a cool command pod nonetheless. And again, like I said, I, I love it just because of the different shape to it. It's not the usual conical thing, so I... I just love it. Now, everything else in this mod, after the command pod, is down here in Utility, and we start off with uh, some of the Habitat modules, actually. Technically, we would start off with this one, but we'll have a gander at that in a second. First, let's start with the Inflatable Storage Container PA-330. And this one, we can just pop down here, and then right-click to deploy, and it inflates beautifully. This is what I love about this pack. You know, you, you can launch stuff up in a more streamlined way by having it deflated and then once you're in space, inflate it out so you have that much larger area for your Kerbals to move around in. Uh, very cool indeed. I do enjoy this inflatable module. Now, of course, we do have another size of the inflatable storage in the inflatable storage container PA550 and this one's just a tad bit bigger. Same sort of inflation, though. Major differences. As you can see we have a square window on this one, a round window here, and of course on the actual attachment point and airlock, we've got more of a tapered design here, whereas this one is uh, more or, uh, cylindrical in nature. There's the word. Had to think about that for a second. Oh boy. But overall, I love the deployment animation. You know me, I'm a sucker for a fun animation, and I, I just, I love the inflation of them. Very good texturing, very good modeling, just absolutely beautiful parts. Now, the next one we're going to take a look at here is, oh, what the heck, we'll take a look at the Inflato storage container here. Let's actually get rid of these guys and grab this one. Now, this particular one, the flat, is actually intended to be used for planetary base building, or of course, lunar base building, as it's more of a flat-based system. So if we deploy it here, again, a very cool deployment animation, and watch this part here and this part here, with the airlock and the docking port, I just love how they open up, very cool indeed. And this is to make it easier for you to build bases, it's got the more flat bottom for actually resting on a planetary surface, and we've got the four-way connectors for various things, and of course the main airlock here, and yeah, just overall a very cool design. And now it works in conjunction with this low profile base mount, which you can use if you don't want this just sitting directly on the planetary surface. Oh, let's... There we go, get that there. You can have it sitting on these lovely little lander legs, which are quite cool. Once again, a fun little animation. Let's uh, zoom in on that as that retracts inwards. 
Let's deploy it back out. I love how it opens up, then extends the legs down. A very cool indeed. And these wouldn't just be useful for this flat module. You could use these quite easily for a low-profile lander. They would work quite well. They are pretty cool lander legs, in my opinion. But yes, let's uh, zoom back out now and look at uh, the last part that we have on hand here, which, if we chuck you away, is the small centrifuge. And I... I love this. This is my favorite part in this entire pack. Now this centrifuge, when we deploy it, it'll inflate just like all the others, but I like how we have these large rings that are sort of these structural points, and then the ring, the main actual ring itself inflates as these uh, trusses extend outwards. A very, very cool piece indeed. And of course, it can spin. So your Kerbals can have a little bit of gravity while they're out there in space. I love this part. It just makes for such an interesting thing to have on your space stations. You just got this nice cool tube that your Kerbals can be in to, you know, you know uh, re relax and get away from the zero-g environment and have themselves a little bit of gravity. I just love it. It's a beautiful, beautiful part. And all of these parts have beautiful IVAs to them. So we've got some good internal views with one exception. The flat module here does not have an internal view at least yet. Hopefully one will be added in the future. But for now it is just blank on the inside. In fact I actually have a hard time even getting Kerbals into it. If you bring them all the way to the airlock they'll go in but then you'll never get them back out again. They just sort of disappear into the void. So it seems to be uh, the flat module may perhaps be a bit glitchy at the moment, but still nonetheless a good part, at least visually. You just may want to put your Kerbals in something slightly different. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe one of these little orbital orbs, for instance, or of course the glorious centrifuge. But let's jump out of here. Don't save this monstrosity that I've built. And we'll head on over to the tracking station where I have put a... Uh, space station up in orbit so that we can have a look at this all put together and take a look at their IVAs and there we go let's just go to that and not exactly the most beautiful space station ever but it has all of the important parts here from the main capsule to the two inflatable storage containers to our lovely centrifuge which currently I don't have spinning because it'll make it a little bit easier for me to uh, look at because I've still got that enhanced I E or oh my I'm just tripping over my words here. I still have the enhanced IVA mod that we looked at in the previous episode, so we're gonna get a, actually a really nice fly through of the interiors here. But let's start off by looking at the IVA for Jebediah. So this is the uh, you know the lovely little capsule here again based off of the Soyuz. Very very cool indeed. We have our fuzzy screen with nothing on it and our typical instrumentation and our co-pilot there. But if we hit Y with the glorious enhanced IVA mod. Now we can actually take a look around in here and get a bit better of an idea of this place. Now I love, I love just the look of everything. We've got the multiple hatches in here, which is quite cool. So in the future, you could use this to, uh, you know, egress from multiple points. We've got the cool padding all over the place, our uh, little oxygen containers over there, and our beautiful instrumentation. Now I believe I need to head out that way. Hold on, we may have to exit the space station real quick. No, that way. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, line up, and this is the larger of the two storage containers, or the inflatable containers here, which is quite fun. We've got a couple of points that normally, when you're in the internal view, your Kerbals would be sitting right here at this lovely little... Uh, you know, plant growing section here with the mysterious not sure plants quite interesting indeed or they could be sitting up here at this lovely table where we can hold quite a number of Kerbals here which is always good and it's nice to see we've got a little dartboard over here which <laughs> I, I just love the uh, what appears to be duct tape patches around the dartboard probably not the best of ideas for the Kerbals to have a dartboard inside of an inflatable module and then of course we have the nice uh, beach painting down here very very cool indeed and some various little bits and bobs we've got a little storage container oh the private lounge do not enter well too bad I have entered 
Oh, God, I love this enhanced IVA mod. Go take a look at that video. But <laughs> yes, then after we're done in here, we can fly through to, to the next container, which unfortunately is a bit screwy because we are heading into the centrifuge next, which has, of course, no interior view inside this main part here. But if we go inside of the actual tube, we can fly around quite nicely. Now, of course, this is the floor right here. And we've got, uh, you know, some lovely little shelving units that we can use here. We have this first seating area where we can fit two Kerbals who are sharing uh, lovely coffee and snacks. And then if we uh, move along this way, past the entrance, some more containers, we have another seating area over here where we can fit another Kerbal in who apparently likes a Game Boy. Very cool indeed. But let's fly outside of here and let me get my bearings. Here we go. This is the next inflatable storage container. So once we get in here, we have three different stories to this one, which is quite cool. So you have this uh, center tube, which you climb up and down. And then we have this top area up here, which I guess you could use for storage of things. This area here is where your Kerbals would be. We've got a lovely table with uh, some coffee stains and apparently an instrument that probably shouldn't be in here. I have a feeling that's a glitch, though uh, typically a glitch you probably wouldn't see as uh, typically you aren't flying through your station like this. <laughs> oh, I love this mod. And then, of course, we have a third little uh, floor down here, which is, again, just another little, I guess, storage area you could use it for. Quite nice indeed. But overall, a lot of good room for your Kerbals to roam around in. And then finally, well, we have, as I said, the uh, flat module, which has absolutely zero interior view. So that's not going to be very useful for us at all. But overall, an absolutely beautiful internal views for the centrifuge unit, the two large storage containers, and of course, our beautiful capsule here. All in all, a very, very cool mod. I can't wait to see what the eventual internal view will be for that flat module. But for now, the modules we do have are more than enough to hold me for now, especially this one. I, uh... Actually, you know, I keep going back and forth if between if this one's my favorite or the centrifuge. They're both quite cool. They have awesome interiors. But I, I think, oh, uh, we got the little fort down here, the nice little uh, hydroponics area, plus a beautiful lounge table. It's it's all quite, quite glorious. I do indeed love this module as well. But yes, if you would like to try these mods for yourself, or these parts rather, you can download the mod from the link in the description, as always. And I hope you do give it a go, and if you build an interesting craft with them, I would love to see. Uh, so tweet me a picture of it. I'd love to uh, see what sort of creativity you guys might have with constructing your ideal sort of space station with these parts. And yes, I hope you have enjoyed this this video today and of course that you come back for the next but until then thank you for watching my friends and as always have a good one now I'm gonna go uh, hide in this lounge in here it's it's private so I guess people leave me alone ah uh, comfy later folks